Hey guys, I'm Andrew from Gameosity, and for a few years now, Jess and I have been fans of role-playing games. You know the type, Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, Dungeon World is amazing. And the central theme of those games is that you're using this pen and paper role-playing system to tell a collaborative story. Everybody who's at the table is a part of that. Today we're going to review a game that touches on the heart of that concept, of that collaborative storytelling experience. It's not really a game about points or tokens or cards or dice, although it does have all of those things. Uh, instead, it's really about the story that you're going to tell together uh, with you and a few of your friends in The Siblings Trouble by uh, Eduardo Baraf, Kim Robinson, and Andy Ashcraft. So in The Siblings' Trouble, you're going to be telling a story collectively with the other uh, players of the game. And as soon as you open the box, you can see that a great deal of care was put into the layout and the physical design of the box. Everything in here is all that you need to tell sort of the kind of adventure stories, uh, theme-wise, of like a... Uh, Scooby-Doo or, or the Goonies. It's about a group of kids, that the siblings, that are going on adventures uh, that may or may not be in their imaginations, but are almost certainly in their backyards. Hey, you gotta come see this. There's a giant bug in the bathroom. Ew, gross. Okay. Hey, come on. Now, just like in those other adventure stories, each of the kids in the siblings' trouble is a little bit different. Each one has their own specialization, like Danger here, who can get a big bonus on rerolls, except at the risk of being sent home immediately, or Mischief, who can straight up s <laughs> snatch treasure from the treasure deck when the need arises. And they all will bring, and will very likely find, awesome items. Uh, you might not think of an action figure or a penny as treasure, but on these adventures they definitely are. And there's more to be found because not only will you find these sort of more common items, but you might actually find some really epic loot as your adventure goes on, each of which could be really helpful in a pinch. How big are we talking here? Like, huge! Like, roll a paper towel? No, 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 no. We need a lot more than just some paper towels. Okay. So at the core of the experience in The Siblings' Trouble is the adventure deck. That's the deck that's going to drive the narrative that you and your friends are telling. And every time you start a game, you're going to compose the adventure deck from bits and pieces of other decks so that you never quite tell the same story. There are generic path cards, a big pile of them that get added in. There are the locations. You're, you're always going to be adventuring in one of the locations. Things like the abandoned junkyard or the hillside caves. There's a big secret that pops up, and each of these sort of drastically changes the narrative somehow. And then, of course, the journey home, where at the end of the adventure you explain how it is that you managed to make it home before dinner. And of course, before you manage to do that, you're going to have to deal with a big, scary boss. Every time your turn comes up in this game, you'll be flipping over one of these cards, and you'll resolve whatever it is. And resolving those cards is both rolling dice, but more importantly, it's weaving the narrative together. Because let's say you draw the card that is the Riddler in the Dark. Is that literally a creature or a person who comes up to your group and asks them a question? Or, or have you found riddles scrawled across the wall in some shadowy alley that you have to resolve before moving forward. Always telling the story, always coming up with what's next, and hopefully not rolling epic fails to ruin your fun. So mechanically speaking, The Siblings' Trouble is a fairly straightforward game. It's certainly nowhere near as complicated as uh, my favorite role-playing systems. But 
that's okay, because even though the mechanics are simplified and the stories you tell are going to be a little more youthful and a, and a little more, not childish, but, but playful, um, that's fine. That's great, actually, because what we have here is, in Jess's words, baby's first role-playing game. This is a toolbox for telling stories, but it's also an introduction to the idea of shared storytelling. And it's a great way to bring in either a young person or an inexperienced person into this world of telling stories together while still existing as its own distinct game that completely stands up on its own. It's beautiful, it's simple, a lot of heart and soul was put into its design, it's a thoughtful game, and we really like it. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, I think it's gotten bigger since I last saw it. Oh my god, is it wearing your robe? I, I'm gonna go pack. I'll get the cats. And that's The Siblings Trouble from Pencil First Games. Thank you for watching our videos. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share us wherever you can. Uh, check out our reviews on our main site at Gamosity.com. And uh, please let us know in the comments below if uh, you have games that you'd like to see us review, or if you have storytelling experiences that you'd like to share. Anyway, this has been Andrew, Gamosity. Thanks for watching, and until next game, see you then.